What is going on guys, it's your boy Brandon Gross and today we're going to be talking about making this cool thing. Today we are going to go over how to create this really cool pneumorphic design. Worky Frame, otherwise known as Jailson, I saw one of his really cool pieces online, thought I would recreate it in Adobe XD and showcase to you guys how this sort of thing is made. Pneumorphism is a really hot trend and I want to show you guys how quick and easy Adobe XD is to make this sort of thing. So with that said, we're going to do a really quick tutorial on how to create stuff like this. We're going to create this on hover, super simple. We're going to set up some guides first. Please don't act up on me. Ah! Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a quick box here. I'm going to center this baby right like this. And then I'm going to create some guides just to direct me. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Turn them off. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the radius up to something like 50. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit more. We'll do 90. Awesome. I'm going to turn on the shadows. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do this 20 for the X, 20 for the Y, and I'm going to do 60 for the blur. Awesome. So already looking pretty good. Now all we have to do is do the reverse. Control D, duplicate that, and I am just now going to do the absolute opposite so that they, we have a shadow on this opposite side here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shadow and I'm going to decrease it just a little bit we are literally halfway there heart super simple all we got to do is get our circles make one it's good enough and take the border out <laughs> I'm gonna duplicate that got balls, balls boy so square make the square the same color as the rectangle or the circles rotate this put it in the center of these circles pull this down and then we are going to unite this here so the heart takes a little finagling, but you get it. So boom, we have this, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda do the same thing that we did for our button here with our heart. All we're gonna do is we're gonna make a shadow, we're gonna just make it a hard edge, and we're gonna make the shadow super dark. So in this, we're gonna do white edge here, and we're gonna do a gray edge out there. We're gonna make this white, we're gonna duplicate it, and now we're gonna make this negative, now we can make this gray. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and group this. You'll see what happens after uh, we do some editing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our button here. What we have to do is we have to make a gradient on top of here. We go to fill, linear gradient, and we have our gradient starting off here. I'm going to pull the white all the way to the bottom, the dark all the way to the top. Actually, we're going to do the reverse. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this in a little bit. We're going to do three points instead of two. Make this a little bit lighter. And we're going to take this color and also make it a little bit lighter. There we go. So three point gradient. So now we're going to go ahead and bring our heart in. Now you can see how it has this cutting edge on the side. We're going to actually go in and edit this just a little bit. We're going to make these non-opaque edges. So this is going to be gray. And then for the bottom heart, I'm going to do the same thing gonna make the white a hard white and I'm going to make it a one and one in the Y very nice we're basically there so all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to center these two pieces up together and we're basically where we need to be with where our heart is obviously our heart is a little bit darker but that's fine simple stuff I am partnering up with Skillshare to bring you guys two months free of Skillshare to be able to learn absolutely anything. Skillshare has everything from UI design, UX design, creative writing, UI animation, and has a plethora of content for you guys to learn absolutely free for those two months that you get with signing up with my code. Check out Skillshare, get your first two months free. And with that said, one of my favorite courses is the UI UX animation course by Karim Bala, and it's absolutely amazing. So again, swipe up, get your first two months free free and learn to your heart's content. So now all we need to do is make the hover version of this. So all I'm gonna do is I've basically duplicated so I can uh, duplicate it our square so I can create the hover effect that we want. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gradient and just switch our colors so that the dark is in the top left and our light is in the top, or excuse me, the bottom right. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to select every element that we have. I'm gonna hit Control or Command K to make a component, and now I'm gonna go over to our component states, hit the plus button, hit hover state, and now here's where the magic happens. All I'm gonna do for our default state, I want it to be our pushed out version. We don't have to hide it, all we have to do is hit zero twice, 
and have the opacity go down to zero. I'm gonna click on our main component, click on hover state. I want to unhide or turn the opacity of our press version all the way up. So I'm just gonna hit zero so that the opacity goes to 100%. That's pretty much it, but I also want the heart to expand. So I'm gonna hit Alt Shift and just drag the heart up. Let's just click the component. Just make sure that this is working. Default, hover state, excellent. We're gonna click on prototype. We're gonna do auto animate, ease in, in, out. I'm gonna turn this baby to 0.6 seconds. Now we can go to play and and we have our wonderful and really simple animation. So guys, this is how I created the first version of this animation. You can spend time making it more smooth, but this is basically how you create something like this. I hope you guys enjoy, and let me know if you guys like stuff like this. Was it too long, was it too short, or what more things do you want tutorials on? I would love to know. All right guys, this is it, your favorite designer and hype beast, Brandon Gross, out. Ooh, that was a long one. That was, that was long.